Alright guys, it's Gameboy Luke here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomizer. In the previous episode, we unfortunately had a loss to our team. You'll probably see from the layout, you should definitely uh, check out that previous episode before you do anything else. So, so I don't spoil anything, you may be wondering when we're back in Petalburg. I did explain in the last episode that we do, we need to get Pokeballs because I completely left that last town without buying any resources. And we have quite a bit of money to work with actually. So uh, I'm going to buy 20 Pokeballs because I don't know how hard these next Pokemon are going to catch. Uh, are going to be to catch, sorry. And I'm going to buy uh, the rest of the potions. So we pretty much stocked up right there. Um, I did manage to obtain the fishing rod before the episode ended, which is why I wanted to come to Pelberg specifically because uh, we can actually fish here and get an encounter for this town, um, which works in line with the Nuzlocke rules. So we can actually get like five different Pokemon in this one episode. So and my webcam is lagging for some reason, but I'm hoping it's not going to you know, it'll, it'll slow down or whatever. Let's go ahead and fish. And see what we can find. Not even a nibble. Very strange. What did we find? Let's see. <gasps> it's a slack off. I actually don't mind this at all because it evolves really soon. So we can get like a really cool Pokemon out of this potentially. So uh, let's go. I can't, obviously can't hurt it. So I'm going to swagger it. I'm gonna swagger it just to make it like hurt itself and then I can try and catch it maybe. It is confused. It has hypnosis. What? Yo, hit yourself. Hit yourself, little buddy. I know you want to. Are you serious? Come on and slam and welcome to the jam. I won't kill itself completely because it's not very strong, so that's fine. I just needed to hit himself once. And it should bring him down to a, a far enough for me to- Are you fucking kidding me? This man's a psychic type. I'm gonna start throwing Pokeballs now. He's only gonna break- he's gonna break out of confusion now. I'm calling it. Actually 100% calling it right this second. Gonna break out of it. I just know, I just know these things. Something got psychic as well. Are you kidding me? Please get confused. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. Uh, I hopefully this Pokeball will catch now. Because if it hurts itself now, then it, we definitely won't have a chance of catching it. Got it. Bam! Nailed it. Awesome. So we have Slack off on the team now, which is perfect. Um, I don't know what to call him. Oh yeah, I was going to name out after people in the comment section. So let me go to the most recent episode of Emerald that has been uploaded. Uh, when my internet just kind of spazzes out for a second. Let's see, let's not play. Let us check out the comment section. Someone said, yo, someone said, what in randomization? Yo, shout out to you, Chase. You are... You are catching this right now. Here you go. There you go. Chase the freaking slack off. Perfect. Perfect. Let's uh, let's check this little man out. What is he? What is he rocking? Chase over here is a uh, brave nature. He's plus. He powers up with mining. Uh, with minus even. Uh, he has slam hypnosis, psychic, and extra sensory. He is a psychic type. Um, not the best typing for a slack off at all. But like I said, he evolves pretty early. And I'm actually gonna let's ask our good friend. Our good friend Google, right? Okay, Google. What level does Slackoth evolve at? According to Bulbapedia, Bulby Garden, it evolves into Vigoroth starting at level 18. 18. So we need to wait till level, eight, level 18, which is actually kind of... It's further away than I wanted, to, wanted it to be. But we have rare candies as well if you want to evolve this bad boy. And we haven't evolved anything yet, so... If we get a slack off the level 18, and we evolve it, we can see what it evolves into. Hopefully something fabulous, because I want you to know, there's a possibility we could evolve it into a legendary Pokemon, and it's like you don't know how good a Pokemon is until you've like, actually evolved it, and it could evolve into like a Caterpie. So, we have no idea what, to, I have no idea what to expect in terms of what these evolutions are going to give us, but at the same time, we have a whole bunch of different, um, areas to catch different Pokemon in, so we can we can weigh our options for sure. And we have a whole bunch of Pokeballs to work with, so let's go ahead and start this episode. We're gonna make this episode dedicated to just catching Pokemon, I think, so. All right, so we can definitely go de de deliver that letter. I think there are items in these rocks. 
I don't quite remember. I don't know, maybe there's one on this island over here. I don't quite actually quite remember. All right, but this is Route 107. So we're gonna get a Pokemon here. Straight away. And it is a... A Gligger, which doesn't evolve in this, in this game, unfortunately. Um, that's no problem, we can we can deal. Uh, I have no idea what type you gotta be. I'm gonna Hypnosis you though. Hidden Power, oh, I don't have Hidden Power Dark. Okay, it's resisted, that's fine. If I can put you to sleep, this makes me, makes my life so much easier, so. I'm gonna give you that. And I'm gonna also Psychic you. It's good that we don't have uh, the loafing around crap as well, which is perfect. Oh, okay, stay asleep. I think one more Psychic and then a Pokeball, we should be able to catch this guy. Gligger's kind of defensive though. Uh, I'm not really sure. I have no idea what typing he's going to be. He only used a normal move and I think a lot of any, any of the Pokemon can get like a normal type move, so. What? He broke out instantly. Uh, maybe I should Psychic him one more time. Hey, we're getting hidden power, it's fine, we resist that, like, no problem, no biggie. Not really upset. If this puts me in a red, that'd be good, I don't think it will, though. Yeah. Oh, he's Moonlight. God damn it. God damn it, dude! Just bring all that health back up. And obviously my slam's gonna miss anyway, so what difference did it make? Egg Bomb? Ah, uh, he might be a normal type. Okay, let me switch out. I want to lose another Pokemon. Be right back. But I can't really touch him with with Gookie. I guess I can. I guess I can just swagger it, and just hope it gradually kills itself. Put yourself in red. Put your put yourself in red. Became confused. Gligger is confused. It used Egg Bomb. That's only like two. Oh, I did eight. Jesus. Let me swagger you again. Because I know this thing's got good defense too, so. Uh, uh, uh. It snapped out. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't understand, right? When it comes to Pokemon hitting themselves in confusion, I get I get hit every time. Without fail. Hit myself in confusion. Hit myself in confusion. Hit myself in confusion. When I'm fighting the computer, or a random Pokemon, they break out every time. Watch. Oh, all right. That's fine. Go red, go red, go... Oh. I just want to catch you just for GP, man. I want you in my back pocket. Apparently, he doesn't feel the same. Alright, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not... It's, we missed out on a Pokemon. No biggie. It's only, it's only one. We have, like, three more encounters to get. It's just a Gligger. It doesn't evolve in this generation anyways. So, I mean, I still, I still don't know which way I randomized it. I guess we'll find out when Kingler maybe starts evolving, but... I don't know if I accident, if I randomized the evolution trees or not, or if they stayed the same. I don't quite remember. But, um... Alright, Doofred Town. So this is Doofred Town we get an encounter in, so there's fish here. This headset, man. It makes my head so itchy. Again! Perfect! Let's go! A Slow King! Another fully evolved Pokemon, but regardless, I will take it. That is uh, awesome. It has Metal Claw. So it's a Steel type. Is it Steel? And I hit- come on, man. Get this- land this hypnosis for me. It has Protect. Is this Callum? Alright. Get this clown ass. Get s just go to sleep. Thank you. The only problem with Slow King is this guy's gonna be super hard to catch. Um... And also, it's a steel type, which means I will barely do any damage to it if I try and psychic it right now. Right? Oh no, it's not steel type. Hold up. Pause. You're not steel type. So just, it just has metal claw to have metal claw. Oh, the special D drop. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. He woke up. He gone use crunch. I'm psychic. Oh my god. Why do all these Pokemon have, like, the perfect type effectiveness against me? Every time! Without fail, they have that perfect type effectiveness. I was using Psychic on it. It wasn't a dark type, it just had a dark move. That's so crazy. Damn it. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's aggravating. That's so aggravating. That's the only, that's the only thing I'm upset with in this game. Is the fact that they are having, they all have, they, they tend to have moves, or they have the one-off moves that aren't necessarily their type. Which really screws me over. And it has self-destruct! I put it at plus three and it has self-destruct. <sighs> Alright, so back to the drawing board. Listen, listen to me. This this is ne this isn't necessarily going the best. Alright, I understand. But please still have a little bit of faith in me. I may have lost another Pokemon. I'm sorry, all these Pokemon are dying left, right, center. The only Pokemon that seems to be able to live is freaking Kingler. But I think what I've learned is that I will no longer use a random Pokemon I caught in any battle at all. They will only be switch trained, and then after that, then they start battling. Because I'm losing too many Pokemon right now, and it's this was meant to be the time where I catch all these Pokemon. Route 106. Polyrath. He's level 10 too, he's hitting the whip. He is hitting the whip. He has Trace, okay. Uh, Swagger, I guess, that's the only thing I can do. What type are you gonna be? Oh, he has own tempo because he traced me, and he has Outrage. I have no idea how I'm gonna catch this guy. He has Outrage and now he has own tempo. He just set up the perfect combination. If he's Dragon Tide, I can Volt Tackle him then, right? Yes, that's perfect. But he's still outraging all over the place. That's a problem. Uh, I have a super potion. Okay, 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 okay. Pot, that's really good. A dragon type, dragon type is really, really good. So, uh, he's on me. That's fine. I don't think another. He was in green. I think another Volt Tackle may allow him to survive. Please, I can't catch him otherwise. There's no way his, his catch rate will be way too low. Perfect. Actually perfect. She has Twister, Dragon, uh, Twister, Twister, Outrage, uh, and Encore. Let's go with the Great Ball. Let's go with this Great Ball. Uh, see, you see what I mean? Like, I had to get into red health. There was no, there's no way I'm gonna better catch this. Oh my. Hyper voice? Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's not even shaking. Like, the rules of Pokemon are as follows. You get the Pokemon or red health. You throw a Pokeball at it. Or you get a status condition. We haven't got the status condition granted. But like, what else can I- I can't do anything else in this situation. And it's actually kind of ridiculous that... I, I, the ball is like not shaking. At all. And he's doing way too much damage to me, so it's burning all my potions. Like, that's crazy. That damage is crazy. A Pokeball- why is Polygraph's catch rate? I'm actually gonna look it up right now. Polyrath's catch rate is 5.9. It's not even that low. Okay, that's kind of low, actually. I take it back. I'm gonna have to use his max potion. It's 5.9, right? Hold up. Gen 3 catch rate calc. Alright. We're about to look this- we're about to look this up. Gen 3. Right? We're gonna look for Polyrath. Right? It's a- what? We would say- I would say, like, 3%. Pokemon's level's 10. We're throwing a Pokemon. We have a, we have a 20% chance of catching this thing, apparently. Thus, you have at least a 50% chance of catching it within four balls, and a 95% chance of catching it with 
14 balls. That's how my luck is. That's how my luck is right now. It's actually ridiculous. I'm gonna have to run away from this thing because it's doing way too much damage to me. We're gonna be here for the rest of the freaking episode trying to catch this thing. I can already tell. Why? Like, what? What did I do to deserve this? I didn't hurt anybody. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand, it's not even, it's not even shaking. Like, what? Why? <clears throat> just teasing me now, it's just teasing me. Literally just, just teasing me. You're just like, you know what? I'm gonna give you a bit of, a bit of false sense of esteem, sense of esteem, of self esteem right there. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna pretend we can't be caught. Just, just for a second. I, I can't. I'm running away. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done with this. That's actually bullshit. I don't care what anyone says. That is stupid. That's ridiculous. And I am not happy at all with that because, what else can I do to that? I'm actually salty right now. How do you, how do you like uh, tell me I have 20% of catching a Pokemon and it barely ever shakes? It's stupid. I'm not about to burn all my Pokeballs on a Pokemon I can't catch. I'm going to avoid all these trainers though. Because I want to catch a Pokemon in here. <sighs> We're not meant to do this part of the game until afterwards. But um, I know my way through here without Flash, so I might just do it like this way. But we're here. We're in this area. Let's see if we can fucking let's, just give me something catchable, please. Sharpedo. That's fine. I don't know what type you are. I don't even know if I can deal damage to you. That's the only problem. I have swagger. Never mind. Let's do it. Let me let me catch this, please. Please let me catch this. He has own tempo. Are you kidding me? Why does everything I want to catch have own tempo? It's the only way of damaging it. If I earthquake it, it's gonna. <sighs> I... I can't. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream so loud, dude. I can't do anything. I can't catch anything. I can't catch anything. I'm gonna scream. It's dragon. Wait. We have hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Gracious me. I think I should use a potion because he might kill me. That's a handy move. Paralyze me, baby. Do it. Come on. All right. I'm going to look it up again. Sharpedo. Okay. That's, that's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Level 8 Sharpedo with a Pokeball with exactly like 5% hit points left. I have a 23, I have a larger chance than I did before. Oh my god! I'm actually gonna cry. I'd like to thank my mom, uh, the, the academy, uh, anybody that's ever like supported me. And I just can't, dude. I I'm calling this Sharpedo Toast after Toast Apprentice.
I'm gonna cry. I can't believe that just happened. Thank you all. And finally, I'd say thank you to the 8-Bit Bros for, for being there for me every, every step of the way. There it is. It's your boy Toast. He is here. Dragon Bug type. Impish nature. That's kind of a uh, meh. But he has Dragon Breath, Tickle, Vice Grip, and Dragon Claw. Uh, Dragon is unfortunately a special type in this game. Bug is physical, I'm pretty sure. So if we can get Silver Wind, then we're good. Um, but hey, we have a Dragon type. Can you complain? I can't complain. Uh, damn. That was a nightmare. Uh, in the next episode, I will be uh, fighting all those trainers and uh, making sure we level up Sharpedo uh, and making him the best dragon bug type there was. He's a pseudo Flygon right here. The typing everyone wanted. Here it is. But if you guys have uh, enjoyed this frustrating episode as much as I have, then please do leave a like rating down below because it is greatly appreciated. It makes you a super awesome person. I'm looking forward to using Toast here and uh, slaying people. In the uh, in the next few episodes, especially since he is a dragon bug type and I have no idea what kind of moves he's gonna get But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time